Good morning and a good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, face yogis. It's Fumiko from the Face Yoga Method. So I am going to talk about the habits today, and I want to show you some poses so that you can get rid of all the wrinkles, but also you can implement today, starting today, and see the result. So let's say the topic is avoid the habit that are wrinkling your skin with my tips that you can begin implementing today. So with that, I like to know who are joining me here today and I'm going to just wait a little bit. Okay, hopefully you can see me, hear me okay. All right, so let's start with the first one I want to show you. Hi Debra, nice to have you here. When you wake up in the morning, okay, First thing I want you to do is please check your posture. Yes, check your posture when you go bathroom, right? Check the posture, how your shoulders look. So if your shoulder are off, I'm going to exaggerate. I go, wow, what is happening? Probably you slept on your side or maybe you just slept differently. And having the right posture is so important. I often say that, right? The good posture start with awareness and I want to show this one if you haven't seen this why it's so important if you have a right posture look your spine here and your head is resting on top of the spine and then when you look down look at that I've seen people who are between these 45 degree and 60 degree looking down look at that 60 pounds is resting on the neck lots of lots of pressure on your neck right and this is 45 degree or 40 49 pounds that's almost 25 kilo that's almost 30 kilo you're carrying a little kid on your shoulder that's so much pressure on the neck so when you wake up in the morning and when your one side is higher than the other so think about it Ooh, what happened Maybe you have to go back to the right posture. So let's start with that right posture exercise. How about this chest opener pose? We're gonna do this together. And then after that, I'm gonna talk about the neck area and also right here, the corner of your mouth. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? Are you with me? Hi, Gratila. hello, ciao from Italy. Hello, okay, and Indra. Hello, good evening, I love you. All right, yes, okay, nice to have you all here. So if you can do this together with me, please do together um, with me too. Um, right posture, what is the right posture? Top of the head, okay, and then center of your forehead. If you draw a line from here, straight to the top of your nose right here. Okay. Many people have pretty good alignment right here. And then when I look at many people's mouth area, it's off. Mm -mm. You want to draw a line and then peak of your lips have to be aligned with other part of the face. See, straight, 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 straight. And the chin here and color bones right here and where collarbone meets and a sternum right here have to be center line. So if it's off, see, you're tensing your neck. You want to bring it back in a center line. And then after that, draw a line, belly button, all the way down to tailbone, and keep the posture. And when you look at your chest, shoulder line, okay? The edge of the shoulder, have to be ideally okay the center of your collarbone same level if it's up your shoulder really tight bring it down okay let's start the side and down okay and hands your shoulders and check yourself in the mirror or if you have a camera you can even take a photo before after photos and then feel that center line and with that, I want you to really feel that, the nice and the long sensation on your neck. Hands on the shoulder. And then we are going to do a little 
simple pose is called a swan neck. When you do swan neck, don't move your shoulders. It's very important. I want you to keep the shoulder this position. And when I show you from the side, the shoulder have to be not in front. Uh uh uh. We don't have a rounded shoulder. We want to push it out. Okay? So good posture. Are you ready? Now, hands on your shoulders and breathe in and out from your nose. Breathe in and out. Don't move your shoulders. Move your chin slightly up. 45 degree angle. Mm, and feel a nice sensation on the side of your neck. And pucker your mouth as if you're kissing somebody taller than you are. Ooh, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out from your nose. Relax your forehead. Back to center. Feel the neck. Let's to the side and turn your neck and chin 45 degree angle. Ooh, don't move your shoulder. Okay? Push down your shoulder blades nicely. Chest open, heart open. Okay, keep the nice alignment. And chin up slightly, 45 degree angle, slightly. And pack your mouth. Ooh, I feel that sensation on my neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to center. So, after I check my alignment, and then after I release my neck, I started checking my neck right here, right side, left side, right side. Why? Because if my shoulder was high in the morning, many, many, many times I see lines on this side. Why? Because look at that, neck is compressed. So what I do? Well, I do a swan neck again, and then before I start my starting my day i'm going to do some exercise too so what is that double chin left okay because if it's off did i make sense did you get that okay if you're off out of alignment one side it gets tight you probably see a line the horizontal line like a ring right here on the side so you want to adjust that first and then double chin left and lift up the chin area. I'm going to show some picture so that you can understand what is actually happening. Start with this, okay? If your shoulder is tight and then neck is short on one side, it will affect, of course, your neck area. There's a big muscle, it's called a platysma. And the platysma, what it does is, yeah, you feel that, let's put the finger right here to very thin, muscle connect right here from the face all the way to collarbone so put the fingers right your collarbone right here okay and then turn your neck do you feel that movement that's a platysma that's a muscle and then let's start the side put the finger right here and move that's a platysma that's a muscle we have okay very thin and underneath it's a big muscle. It's called a sternocleidomastoid. You don't need to remember the name, but it's a big muscle right here. Sternocleidomastoid. So when this is tight, of course, that create the tightness and it can be even give you a headache and then lines on the neck. Okay? So now move on to the front part. What can we do? Especially for those who are looking down all the time. Like I said earlier, I've seen people have this posture. Looking down. So put the hands right here where the collarbone meets. Collarbone right here, okay? Right here. Feel that? Center. And then slightly push down. And with a good posture, this is important, very slowly move your gaze. Eyes only look up first. And now breathe in and out from your nose and gradually look up with your Face. Oh, do you feel that? The sensation on the neck area. Ooh, very, very, very nice sensation front of the neck. And come out. Let's do another one. Second set. We're going to stick your tongue out this time. Check your posture. If you have a rounded shoulder, if you have a tight neck, it doesn't work. We need to push down and open and align the shoulder. Okay? Fingers here. And then look up first because I want you to protect your neck area. And now look up and then stick your tongue out 
Why we stick a tan out? Because tan is a muscle connected to the throat. When we put the tan out, you feel nice sensation right here on the neck. Okay, go. Ah, feel it? Now, taking five seconds, move your tongue left and right. Go. Uh, 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 uh. We just walked on the side of the neck and right here in the front of the neck. Did you feel that? Heck, it's really, really important for you to have a good posture. So when you started tightening your shoulder, then just do this exercise throughout the day. So with that, let's go a little bit deeper about the habit. You know, which one you're doing and why you're getting that wrinkle on the neck. Start with the neck. Right? When you wake up in the morning and start sleeping. I'm not going to talk about the side sleeping tip today, but I'm going to show you what you can do. So when you go to bed, put a moisturizer on your neck. It's a part of your face. Don't forget, this is also part of your face. So you want to go all the way down. And I actually wear scarf. It's a silk scarf uh, my mom gave me a long time ago. Probably this is almost 30 years old. So I don't where to go out but this is what i do i wear a scarf my neck yeah so amazingly if i wear a scarf to bed it doesn't look great but when i wake up in the morning i see less wrinkle on my neck and when i see wrinkle on the one side all the time you want to do the exercise I just showed you before you go to bed because you want to release attention. You don't want to go to bed with this tightness. And I've seen many people, including myself, I used to do this one. It's so bad. I'm not going to do this anymore, but look at this. Talking on the phone. Yes, yes, it's so bad. Look at my shoulder. Look at my neck. No wonder. People get a wrinkle on the hair, right side of the neck. So check your neck, okay? It's simple, but it works like a magic, okay? So after I wake up in the morning, I take my scarf off, and usually I love the way my neck looks and I feel. Right? Good. So how about this? Let's do the uh, another exercise, okay? Habits, everybody does it. Brushing your teeth. It's simple, but think about this. If you are brushing your teeth always the same way, means, okay, let's see. What happens? If you are over 35 years old, many things you do, almost 90% of things you do, the way you think, the way you move your body, the way, the way you smile are autopilot, means you don't need to think about it. It just, you do naturally. Brushing your teeth is one thing. I haven't heard anybody who said, oh, I'm too busy, I don't brush my teeth. No, no, everybody, right, pretty much brush your teeth, at least once. So, look at my face, okay? If I'm brushing my teeth always the same way, look at my mouth, okay? Ooh, what is, what's happening? Instantly, my lips are moving down so that I can accommodate. I'm exaggerating a little bit, right? Right? Of course. It's doing the way it's supposed to be doing, right? Ah, ah. Wow. What happens? I'm going to show you the picture. Okay? This, there's a muscle. Depressor angry olis. Wow. It's <laughs> depressor angry olis. You don't need to remember the name. But what these muscles do is... Putting the corner down, down, downward, right? So if you see that, like why my nasal labial holes are going this way, why I have this line right here, check your habit. I have a feeling if you have also a symmetrical mouth going down, okay, right here is a tight, but also maybe you're brushing your teeth the same way, so that the lip have to go down, right? You want why don't you change it? So instead of going this. How about starting brushing this side? That's good, right? How about this? How about start brushing upper teeth first? It's different, right? Your mouth responds differently. 
instead of going down. Uh, so that's something you can change. So check your face, but also check your habits. What you're doing every day, that can make a huge difference because like I said, the muscle responds to you. If even you're not paying attention because it's just natural, second nature to you. So change that habit, right? Get that? Okay, so for those who want to really change and you're really suffering from like, oh, I can't get rid of this. Why? How about this? Because you've been doing this movement all the time. Maybe right here is tight. So we are going to release a little bit first and then see what is happening. So the face yoga method is body, mind and the body and the self, you know, skincare. So it's not just exercising the muscle, which I often show you all the poses, right? You have free poses, you can do um, many poses looking at the video or even YouTube, I have lots of videos too. But you need to understand what is happening. The mind is important too, right? If you have to break the habit, break the habit. And then skincare, that's more outside, external things. Right? So I'm going to show you. So anything for jaws. Yes, this is really good for you too. So if you're moving the muscles in the same way all the time, yes, it's tight. So we have to release it. You can push the corner of the mouth where this depressor and right all is. Locate right here. Okay? And if you're using this all the time, probably you have a line right here. Okay? And jaw, it can really even touch the jaw too when you change the way you smile. So let's do it. Right here, the corner of your mouth, and then fingers right here, meaty part of the fingers, and I feel it. How, do, how does it feel? Is it painful? Okay, massage slightly, oh, release the tension. Okay, and here, a little bit more, the corner of your mouth, here, and a smile. Is it easier? And start brushing a little differently. Okay, so one pose I wanna show you now is after you release, there's a pose, it's called a symmetrical mouth. I'm obsessed with symmetry because I got in a car accident and my face became very asymmetrical. And I'm always, always paying attention to the movement on my face and the body, especially the shoulder too. So let's start this one. This is really good too, okay? The first, curl your upper and lower lips over your teeth, all right? Right here. When you do that, check the corner of your mouth. If one side is lower, uh, you want to adjust the corner of your mouth have to be the same level okay you want to use cheek muscles to lift the corner of your mouth here all right good and now place your index fingers at the corner of your mouth and then lift up the outside edge making sure both corners of your mouth are at the same level so right here put the fingers right here and then if you see asymmetry, adjust that asymmetry with your finger. Don't push up. You want to use your muscles. So this is just indicator. There's helping you to lift the corner. So when you do it right, see, it affects your jaw. It affects the face line too. Okay, you got that? Okay, good. Now slowly move your gaze toward the ceiling, keeping the corner of your mouth the same level. You have to keep them, keep them. All right, now slowly tilt your chin up. When you lift this, it, it's also turning the neck area too. So gaze first, and then here. Cheek muscle, use your cheek muscle, not the fingers lifting the corner. Cheek muscles are the one lifting the corner of your mouth. And hold this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come out and keep the smile. Just let the finger go one side. If it drops, eh, you're not using a cheek, you're using fingers. Ready? Keep the finger. Let anger go, keep the muscle. Other side. Come out and smile. How is it? Did you feel that? You can do two more sets and get used to the feeling, sensation. But the shoulder have to be aligned 
nice center line and don't move your head when you're doing it and when you look up first very slowly feel the sensation on your cheeks too that is really good what we did is lift up the corner of the mouth right so if you are always brushing your teeth one side change it it's simple and then if you can even use other hand this is my dominant hand right so that's why it's easier for me this ah, change it change it and start from the upper because when you do upper what happened instantly my lips go up my cheek goes up don't go down first is and then see how that affects you all right so that's something i wanted to share with you today i avoid the habits sleeping on the side or brushing your teeth always and wrinkling your skin and uh, i showed you some exercises and please these uh, do these exercises and then don't don't forget everybody goes bathroom right even the busiest person go bathroom every time you go bathroom why not do this why not check your posture why not lift your chin up do double chin lift and then why not do this before you go to bed so that you can release the tension from your neck and then you see less drying uh, wrinkle in the, on your neck in the morning and another thing is lift up the corner of your mouth and then you can use the fingers but eventually you want to let fingers go and then don't forget the scarf silk is better and then wrap around your neck after you put lots of cream and see how that affects your neck area okay so I want to go just quickly and see comments here yes thank you thank you beautiful and then also the um, there is a blog coming out on Saturday with more tips and I highly recommend you read that and apply to your life because it's not just um, face exercise like I said face yoga is a lifestyle and a mind and a body and a skincare you want to combine them if you want to get the result okay good yes so here you go okay uh thank you cindy your skin face looking amazing yeah thank you the trick is um i do 100 time face flush in the morning it wakes my skin and uh, reduces the puffiness and um drink hot water it really really good drink hot water no constipation okay okay so thank you so much again and apply the uh, technique i showed you and I'll see how you can transform your neck area, right? Thank you so much. Bye. Have a wonderful rest of the day.